Welcome back everyone. Today we have a refrigerator that is cooling on the freezer side, nice and chill, but is not cooling at all on the refrigerator side. So we're gonna see what's wrong with this and fix this. I know the compressor is not a problem because the top is freezing just fine. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off this panel and see what's inside. In order to do that, just do undo two screws It'll come right up. Let's do that. Once we take this panel off, you know, as you can see the refrigeration freezer coil behind this, it's perfectly freezing. You can even see icicles on it. It's beyond freezing, it's super chill. So the freezer is perfectly working. But what's going wrong here is the transfer of that air through this channel down into the refrigerator is not happening. That's because the blower fan that's supposed to blow the air through this channel is not working. So the refrigerator is not getting the cold air it's supposed to get from the freezer. So it's pretty warm on the bottom. Uh, as you can see the two channels that are on the refrigerator side right there. Um, it's supposed to be blowing cold air which is not happening. So the fan is the problem. Let's just fix that. Since we determined that the blower fan is the problem, we are gonna replace that. The blower fan is right behind here. It's pushing air through this particular channel. So we flip this unit and you see the fan right here. You can get a replacement fan just like this one. I'll put in the part number, but it doesn't come with blades, you see just a shaft and you need to take the blades from here install it in here and do that so it's a little bit more uh, work than just swapping with four screws or something like that in order to replace this fan we need to first disassemble this and then we replace it with a newer unit first let's take these uh, safety locks out we basically turn them straight and I believe they come right off just like that do the same on this side and the safety clips are now released now in theory this whole channel should fall which it did those clips were the one that was holding this particular channel um, that was mounted so if you look at it now we have pretty good access to the fan blade right here. I believe I can just pull it right off. There you go. Comes right off. I do see a little washer, which I'm gonna reuse. A little washer I can reuse on the new equipment right here. So the mounting of this fan, as you can see, some clip up here, the way to take that off. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise so I can pull this right off. And this fan in theory should slip right out. Cool. So all we needed to do is uh, take the fan blades off so this thing like slides out just like that. Now I'm going to put the new motor in the same spot like the old one was. Perfect fit. I will put in the part number so you can easily use and replace as well. Now let's do the same. So I'm going to go from this direction, turn it clockwise to lock. As you can see, the plastic locks in place. The shaft is in the middle. And all I have to do now is put the blades on. And I'm gonna install that little washer right here. And the blade. So, so put a hand underneath just for support. And I'm pressing all the way till it snugs. Ooh, that's a lot better. It spins much more freely 
compared to the one I took off. We will see. All right, I'm gonna put this back. We know that these tabs need to match up with these holes. So we slide them right in. Flip them so you can clearly see. You clearly see them coming out all the way. Perfect fitment. And the way to keep them snug is to reinstall these little metal clips. Everything else is pretty darn easy. You just go back, put this up in the fridge and mount these two screws. And let's see how we can do that. All right, let's put the panel back in place. Just slides uh, perfectly in there. Just need to put two harnesses back together, one for the fan, um, that to the fan harness, and the other one from the whole panel onto the back of the fridge, right there. So just a couple of uh, sockets of the wiring harnesses, two screws, and we will be good to go. At least that's the hope. As soon as I plug this in, the fan should come right on because I just replaced it with a newer fan. Let's see. As you can hear, the fan is uh, starting to spin. That's a very good sign. So all I have to do is line this up. Line this up properly. And put those two screws in. Let's see what's uh, this thing. So when we put the panel in, it is a good idea to take this uh, plastic out so that, we, so that we can line up the ice maker line, this particular chute, um, to come through this hole. It was pretty painful with this thing being on. So once this is in, it's a lot easier. Uh, just need to put the screws, two screws, uh, line that up and put that on. Line up the screw holes and we can tighten them. Just tight enough. Nice and snug. Finally, put this piece in there. This thing goes down. Nice and easy. You can literally hear the fan blowing. And if you come down here, you can feel the cold air coming down here. And that, um, and that is the important part, you know, the cold air flowing down here. All it is is the fan from the freezer, uh, from the chill panel, it's just blowing cold air into the refrigerated area. Okay. I consider that as fixed. Instead of calling a appliance technician and charging hundreds of dollars, $40 fix for the part takes about 10 minutes of your time. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.